David Ulmer with the Kansas Artist of the Year Award. His murals can be viewed at the Leavenworth County Courthouse, Salvation Army, and Security Bank in downtown KCK, and St. Joseph Church in Leavenworth. Don Wolf's Three Images of Croatia are taken from 29 years of photographing the country of Croatia. According to Wyandotte County historian Lauren Taylor, the Croatian population is the third largest ethnic group in Kansas City, Kansas, after the Germans and the Irish. Wolf's maternal and paternal grandparents migrated to the United States from Croatia in the early 1900s in search of a better life. They, like many others, settled in the Croatian enclave of Strawberry Hill in Kansas City, Kansas. Wolf received his first camera from his uncle, who was returning from a tour of duty during World War II. The camera was the result of a trade with German soldiers for a two packs of cigarettes. Later, Wolf himself joined the Navy and was sent to both California and Florida for further study of photography. On return to civilian life, Wolf turned his father's wine cellar into a photographic darkroom and furthered his education in photography. One of his first assignments was to photograph President Harry Truman's birthday party at the Hotel Mulebach. Wolf is one of the founders of Custom Color Corporation, a professional photography lab in Kansas City, Missouri, and he operated Wolf Photography for many years until his retirement. Having taught photography for five years, Wolf is now a partner at New Vision Photography in Kansas City, Kansas. Three prominent oil paintings by area masters have been collected in the, two th in the last two years, 2009-2010. These paintings can be seen in the humanities waterhole near to Richard Madsen's Fireflies. On the south wall are paintings by Wilbur Neewald and Jim Leedy, and on the west wall is a large painting by Lisa Grossman. Neewald is a professor emeritus at the Kansas City Art Institute, where he serves as chair of painting and printmaking. His association with the Kansas City Art Institute spans 56 years. The smallest oil painting in the humanities waterhold was completed during Neewald's abstract period in the 1990s and is part of a study on wind and trees titled Foliage. The Jim Leedy painting is untitled 1 through 10 from 1990. It's a heavily textured paint with on paper. Leedy is one of the premier ceramic artists of his time, helping to forge the style of art in the 20th century. He is well known for his familiar totem-like ceramic sculptures, combined media paintings, oil portraiture, and commercial illustration. Leedy served as an instructor at the Art Institute for over 30 years and is one of the founders of the Crossroads Art District in Kansas City, Missouri, where he owns a prominent art gallery. Lisa Grossman, River Coming Dark from 2009 offers an aerial view of the Kansas River. The sun sits low on the horizon while the river's wide expanse cuts through the geometric swaths and crisscrossing lines of farmland. She is a Lawrence-based artist receiving her BFA from the University of Kansas in 1999. Her homage to the Flint Hills series was exhibited in the Kansas Governor's offices and statewide through 2006. One of the most interesting antiques on campus, which, in the spirit of Marcel Duchamp, could be deemed a ready-made object they art, is a still functional 1910 Bausch & Lomb microscope made of brass and cast iron in Lucas, Kansas. It has a 5x ocular lens and three objective lenses, 62x, 40x, and 10x, with a mirror reflector system. It was used in World War I by Army medics. A pillbox was converted into a microscope case to protect these scopes in the field at that time. This old Bausch & Lomb microscope, along with several others like it, were purchased after the war in 1923 when Kansas City, Kansas Community College was first founded. This microscope is presumed to have been used by students in microbiology classes until the mid-20th century when more modern electrical bulb microscopes took their place. Someone from the old downtown college, brought the scope out to the new campus in 1972 and placed it in storage and chemistry where Dr. K. Walter, a former chemistry faculty member, discovered it in 1993 and brought it to the biology department for historical display and practical use in microbiology. That rounds out our 20 most notable works of art at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. The Campus Art Committee wants to thank former Buildings and Grounds employee Lem Samuels and current Buildings and Grounds employee John Samble for their special role in security mounting campus art.
Without them, art around campus could not be displayed. We also want to thank college trustees of the past, present, and in the future for supporting the purchase of quality visual art in order to beautify our campus. Beyond the general aesthetic value of the visual arts, we believe visual art to be educational, inspirational, and promoting of strength through diversity in our beloved teaching and learning community. From Curtis Smith of the Campus Art Committee and videographer Eva Simmons of Media Services, we hope you have enjoyed this tour of art at Kansas City, Kansas Community College.